Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Toby. As you can see, we are at Cinder Lake. And there's the red Solo Cup behind you, the Jeep. We made it down that uh, interesting road. Um, it wasn't actually too bad, so um, yeah. It is 5.30 already, and we are down at the river and all ready to go. Okay, so we are all packed up. We brought the big chairs again, and we actually brought the big tent. So we actually have more stuff this time than we usually do because we've got this little guy who's really hot right now and is gonna probably run into the water. Um, yeah, get over here. Um, so our little <laughs> MSR tent, um, he likes to burrow and dig things, so he might put a hole in it. So we brought the Insta tent, which kinda is bulky, but that's what he wants. So, oh, have a drink there, dog. Okay, so this is the sunset. The sunset's at 8.23. It is 8.15 right now. This is what it looks like on the lake. The breeze is gone. There was a nice breeze when we got here, kept the bugs away, and it was nice because it was humid and then it was gone. So this is the little bay. This is called East Bay on Cinder Lake. And I'll give you a little swing around here to what our site looks like. We've got, I know it's gonna be dark a little bit. There is our fire pit there, a little open area over there. And then the toilet's back there. So we brought the big Insta tent because we have the dog and he likes to scratch and I do not want him to ruin my MSR tent. So that was a bug there. So we brought the big one, which wasn't actually bad because there's no portages. So he can stay in there and uh, burrow on the ground all he wants, dig, doesn't matter because he ain't getting out of there. But this site's kind of cool because he keeps going over here and uh, the frogs are at it. I don't know if you can hear it. I'm not sure what that is. I'm gonna show you the, we use this as a landing spot right here, just because there was some grass there that we could pull up and then use this rock that I'm standing on to unload and then we put the canoe up there. Um, there's one of the bays back here. The bay is full of um, lilies and stuff like that. So it leads over here, goes back a little bit. Um, over here, there is another area. We put a tarp up for the sun. It's not gonna rain, but we wanted to have a shaded area when in the middle of the day um then there's another area right here where we put a blanket down for the dog so he wouldn't get too hairy or too dirty and then up here is a cool view there's all these little trails there's actually a spot right here i guess you could put a tent there if you wanted to small tent which is actually a really nice area too. And this leads up to the rock, that face, the rock lookout, which is kind of neat. So it walks around and it's windy, so maybe it won't use this video. Top here. So this is site 65 at the Halliburton Highlands Water Trail. We are on Cinder Lake. Um, there's a little lookout right there for you. Uh, there are tons of little side trails that lead away from the campsite, which are actually really cool. So I'm not really sure where they go. I'm gonna have a little adventure later on and go see where they all go. Um, it looks like the somebody was here fixing things. The uh, washroom has been moved and only one other person <laughs> has used it. Yes, you look in there. Um, so that was kind of neat to see that it's been moved. The fire pit has been kind of maintained, I guess. It looks like somebody dug it out. Um, no garbage at the site, which is really nice. Um, there possibly could have been at one time, but it has to be like super quiet for you to, there's the loons, but it has to be super quiet so that you can hear 
it uh, no wind nothing like that the perfect uh, conditions to hear the road because we are kind of further back if you were to come from the parking lot at uh, Ben Chu or Big uh, Big Ben not Big Ben Big East Lake um, you would have to portage three portages I believe to get back here um, from Ben Chu to Lower Crane and then from Upper Crane to Poker and then Poker to two more after that to get up here they're really small though so um you can go that way but we went the uh cinder lake road which was uh which was okay we have a jeep so it wasn't that bad um yeah so that's the tour of the site so far so. so this is the end of the bay on the left side of our site I didn't realize how far this went back. So we're really on a peninsula if you look at it. I mean, it's a small peninsula, but... And this is just full of lily pads and other aquatic plants. It actually goes back a fair distance, so... Out there, I don't know if you can see the open water, that's the very edge of uh, our site. So it's a far distance. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. It is four o'clock in the afternoon. We had a nap, not gonna lie. It is hot here. Uh, it is windy though. Um, if you can see the food barrel right above my head there, uh, yeah, it's kind of moving and stuff like that. Yeah, there you go. Um, so we actually just went and got some um, little branches for the fire. Uh, I'm gonna flip that around and show you. So that is what we gathered out of the woods. We got some of those little starter stuff and some sticks and the other stuff was actually left here um, by whoever was here before. Uh, this site, actually really nice. There's hardly any garbage. Hadn't found any little wrappers or anything like that. So that was really good. The only thing is our huge tent that we bought because the dog um, was in the sun all morning and now it's in the shade, but it was hot for our nap. We actually had to leave the door open for a little bit because it was it was boiling in there. Um, but yeah, so this is the update for today. I also put this tarp up today, not because I knew it was going to rain, because it's not, but for the shade. A little shade tarp there. We used it for lunch. <laughs> I think a tree just fell behind me. Um, <laughs> uh, for a shade. Oh, I'm going to restart this one. Um, here is the tarp that I put up earlier. We used it as a shade tarp, not a rain tarp because it's not supposed to rain. Um, but um, I don't know if I did it right. We used it for lunch, which it actually worked. But as the sun moves, the tarp actually, the shade part is actually farther back. <laughs> so uh, we've uh, just going to hide over to the left in the uh, tree shade instead of uh, the tarp shade. But it did work for a little bit. So I've hung my life jacket up here because uh, this swimming rock kind of is only like two feet and then it drops right off and it's fairly windy out here today and uh, I don't like not touching. So I wore my life jacket and I went, you know, out pretty far and stuff like that and waited around and I hung it up to dry as you can see right there. But you can see it dripping and I think it's going to dry faster in the wind. So yeah, what do you guys think? Weird idea? Or smart. I think it's a smart idea. If you can see the moon there, it's just a sliver. It's nine o'clock. The sun has set over Cinder Lake tonight. The wind has calmed down finally. It was really windy for a little bit there. And yeah, so hopefully with these clear skies, we will be able to see the meteor shower Friday the 13th. Maybe we'll hear some wolf howls. Probably not, but anyways. We're gonna have a fire tonight too. Are you ready for greatness? 